Hi, my name is Johnston Blakely with Surveillance Copilot here with another tip for you today. Today we're going to talk about teleconverters for your camcorder. Now you're out there on site, uh, your subject is way out across the field or across the water fishing. What are you going to do? You can't identify him with, with no matter how much zoom you have on your camcorder. You still can't identify him. He's too far. What do you do? Well, you go into digital zoom, but going into digital zoom makes your film look very soft, very fragmented. You could creep up a little closer. Maybe you can. Obviously, if you're filming someone out on the water fishing, you can't get closer uh, in your vehicle. If, if you do creep up closer on somebody, um, you may wind up getting made. So, here is a solution. It's a teleconverter. This one is a high quality teleconverter from Canon. It's a 1.7x. In other words, Camcorder's 20x, you multiply it by 1.7x, your the range of your optical zoom. With this, you can avoid in most circumstances going into your digital zoom. With the cheap off-brand type teleconverters, it really gives no more advantage than uh, going into digital zoom, but with a high quality like this one here, a Canon 1.7x it gives you very good quality. Anything more than 1.7x and you, it can get a little soft, especially when you zoom down all the way. This teleconverter goes directly onto my camcorder without an adapter. Sometimes adapters can give you what's called vignetting, which is dark circles, especially around the edges of your, of your subject. And you want to avoid that. But most of the time you only have the teleconverter on when you need it, when you have to zoom out all the way. Now, when you use a teleconverter, it's very, very difficult to handhold because they make things very, very shaky. You want to be uh, have your camcorder on a bean bag or on a tripod or some sort of mount when using it. Therefore, it's best when a subject is far away and fairly stationary because all your movements are very exaggerated when you add this on. One drawback with a teleconverter is, in low light situations at night, uh, filming through very, very dark tint, uh, when it's cloudy, you, you, can, you can get, it can make your image very, very dark. Anytime you put glass between and front of your camcorder's lens, it takes down the light. So that is a drawback. It's better when you have full light conditions. Uh, when you're using a teleconverter, you should use manual focus. It's very hard for your camcorder to find focus through a teleconverter, and when it does, sometimes it will tether in and out of focus. You should always use manual focus, and um, sometimes manual exposure is necessary. Even with a high-quality teleconverter, when you're zoomed in on somebody who's wearing white or very light color, they may have a tendency to glow. Well, you can adjust that with your exposure. Just turn that down a bit so that they're not glowing. Uh, a very good quality teleconverter like this rarely has, uh, has that to worry about. But, there you go. The teleconverter, uh, it should be one of the tools in your arsenal. And I have mine. I carry it in my camera bag every time I do a surveillance. I don't use it that often, but when I do, it is a very, very necessary thing. Um, there's nothing worse than having to creep up into a closer position and risk getting made or having to suffice with uh, turning into your client some film that they cannot identify the individual. So, my name is Johnston Blakely with surveillance co-pilot, go to www.investigativetraining.org and check out some of our other tips. Thank you.